as the presenter in the room for a hybrid meeting. You face the challenge of being able to see your presentation speaking notes and see the attendees at the same time. Well, now you have a new option, the OREI Split Extend Display Adapter. It allows you to share your slides in the room and in the virtual meeting. You can see your presentation speaking notes and you can see the attendees on a separate screen. This doesn't require any fancy room setup. So let me show you how you can do this. I'm using the OREI Split Extend USB to HDMI display adapter. Let me show you what you get in the box. Open it up. When I pull it out, you can see that you get uh, the adapter. So I'm going to take that out of the package here. And you'll notice first thing, you get both a USB-C and a USB-A connection. That makes it very handy, especially if you switch between different devices. And it also makes a lot of sense if you have an older device that only has a USB-A and doesn't have the new USB-C. And they just cook together and it's attached. So you're not gonna lose this dongle. And on the other end, we have two HDMI ports. So this goes into the computer and the two screens go into here. So one is a 4K and one is a 1080p. Now, because we're using this for presentations, you're never gonna run that above 1080p anyways. So this is not going to be a restriction. It's hard plastic, very well made. Underneath the package, it gives you the uh, instructions. We've got a user manual here, which gives us detailed instructions on how to use it. And you've got this red card saying that you do need to download a driver. And I'll cover that in just a couple of minutes. But this is what you get in the package. Very compact, very easy to pop into your laptop backpack or your bag. Not gonna take up very much space, but it gives you two additional displays to your laptop. One other thing to note, and it does say it on the box, is that OREI does not recommend you use the split extend for graphics intensive work, like uh, video editing or gaming. And since we're not gonna be doing that for a presentation anyways, we don't need that level of graphic intensity, this is gonna be perfectly fine. If you're not familiar with OREI, they're a Skokie, Illinois-based manufacturer of AV equipment that AV professionals have trusted for years. I've used their equipment and other AV professionals I trust use OREI equipment all the time. In fact, probably in your office right now, they're using some of the splitters or extenders and switchers that OREI makes. And so I'm really happy that OREI sponsored this video so I can show you how the split extend works to help you in hybrid presentations. As I mentioned, to use the split extend, you have to download drivers from Silicon Motion. Silicon Motion is a NASDAQ listed manufacturer and designer of a bunch of different types of controllers. In fact, they're the top designer and manufacturer of chips for SSD controllers. So chances are your computer, your office already has a lot of Silicon Motion chips in it. You just don't realize it. So you have to download these drivers. And if you're in an organization where the IT department restricts what you can download, you are gonna to have to get their approval likely. Now, hopefully because OREI and Silicon Motion are trusted manufacturers, hopefully the IT department will give you permission to do that. The card in the package gives you the URL to go to. So on my computer here, I'm gonna to go to siliconmotion.com slash downloads. And when I go to that website, what it does is it loads for me the driver download for this particular chip. And because I'm using uh, Windows 10 here, I'm on a Windows computer, I'm going to select the first, the driver here, and I'm going to click on download. That's gonna download it to my uh, computer. And you'll notice that it is downloading a zip file here. So uh, in the instructions that you get in the manual, again, it will tell you that you're gonna download a zip file and it tells you to um, go to unzip the driver file uh, by clicking on the exe file that is in the zip. So we're gonna wait for that to download. It downloads fairly quickly here. And in my browser, I'm going to say, open that file up. 
and it opens and then I can go into the subfolder here and I can go to the exe that is shown and I'll double click on that to run it and it does give you a warning if you're running something from a compressed file uh, it, if you try to run it and it depends on other files it will give you this warning that's okay I'm going to um, go ahead and extract it which is again what is suggested so I'll extract that file and I'll go to uh, the downloads here into the folder here. And now I have this. I'll run the file. It says, do you wanna make changes? So you likely will get this sort of a secure me security message from Windows. So I'll say yes. And it's now going to go ahead and start installing. Say install. It's installing the display driver. And once it's done, it says, okay, I'm finished. Now I can click exit. And depending on your version of Windows, depends on sort of the setup. Sometimes it may ask you in their instructions, OREI says for the split extent that this driver may need you to restart your computer. Mine didn't ask me to do that. It does depend on the version of software that you have. So now I can close out all of these windows and I can go to the next step of actually setting up these displays to use the split extend. Now that I have the drivers installed on my laptop, I can plug in the split extend. I'm using a Dell laptop that has USB-C ports. So I've got a free port here, I'll plug that in. Now I'm gonna take the cable from the screen in the room and I'm gonna plug that into the 4K port on the split extent and we'll see if this uh, comes up and it does now one of the things that I did notice as I was doing some testing with this is that there are times when you plug this in and it's not going to come up on your screen and that's because there's a setting in the display properties that you might have to change so what we're going to do anyways is I'm going to go to the display settings open up my settings and go to system display and you'll notice that right now it is saying that the two displays should be the same they should be uh, as it says duplicate these displays now that's not what i want i want to extend the displays so that i can have presenter view on my laptop screen and i can have up on the big screen i can have the slides and that's what i'll share in the virtual meeting so I'm going to go down to the setting here, multiple displays, and I'm going to drop this down and I'm going to say extend these displays. And now what it does is it splits them up. So I'm gonna say keep the changes. Now what I can do is I can look at which are my displays. So which is one and which is two? Well, that's where the identify button comes into play. Okay, so number two is the large screen. Now it's currently running it at 4K, but I certainly don't need it at 4K. I just need it at 1920 by 1080. So I'll select that in the diagram here of the displays and I'll scroll down and I'm gonna change the display resolution to 1920 by 1080. And I'll keep that. Because that's the maximum resolution that I want to show in my meeting anyways. Now, if for some reason you don't get anything displayed on that large screen, it could be because the output of this particular port might default to 4K 30 Hertz, which your screen may not actually be wanting to run there. It might need 50 or 60 Hertz. So I'm gonna to go to the advanced display properties and in the refresh rate here, I can drop this down and change it to 50 Hertz if I need to. And what that sometimes does is it helps the screen to recognize what Windows is sending it. So just in case you need to change that for a large screen because you're gonna be in different meeting rooms and they might have different screens. I'm also gonna move this large screen to the left of my laptop, click apply. So this means when I move my cursor to the left off of my laptop screen, it shows up there on the large screen. Now, once I've done that, I've got my large screen set up. Now what I can do is I can attach 
my secondary screen. So I'm using a portable ViewSonic screen here. I really like this screen. It's compact, it's nice, it works really well. And I'm going to take its HDMI cable and I'm going to plug it into the 1080p port on the split extend. And it now will come up and because I plugged it in before it recognizes it and it made it display three in the settings here and it put it to the right. If it duplicates it, then again, just go down, say extend and move it to the right side of your laptop screen. I like that because physically that's how I've got it arranged. So I know, okay, that's over there. Now, if you don't have a second display, you can actually use an iPad. If you have a USB-C iPad with iOS 17 or later, you can actually use that as a second screen for your setup. So I'm gonna pause, let me go grab my iPad and I'll show that to you. So I've got my iPad set up here and uh, what I've done is I've attached a USB-C dongle and what it does is it has a USB-A port. I'm taking the HDMI out of the split extend and I'm putting it into an HDMI video capture card. Now I have a full video on using this uh, how to set up your iPad as a second screen. So I'm going to plug this into one of the USB-A ports here, and I'm going to use uh, an app that I have called Dongled. And what that does is it takes this input from the HDMI, converts it to this video capture card, converts it and makes the iPad thinks it, think it's a webcam. And so now I have that screen on the right side of my laptop. So if I don't want to use a portable screen, if I'm carrying a, an iPad with me anyways, I'll link to the video that I have about that. But I just wanted to show you that you can use an iPad as that second screen in this setup. Now, I'll take this apart, go back to my second screen because it'll be easier for you to see that. So I have all of my screen set up. I can close the display settings and now I can start to set up for having my notes on my laptop screen, my slides up there that I share in the virtual meeting, the hybrid meeting, and my participant videos on my second screen. I've opened up PowerPoint on my screen. In PowerPoint, I'm gonna to go to the slideshow ribbon and I'm going to make sure it says use presenter view, so I've checked that off. And then for the monitor, I don't want it to be automatic. I wanna choose that I'm want monitor two, because again, we've set monitor two to be the large screen in the room. Now, when it uses presenter view, the slides will be on that monitor. Go back to the home ribbon. I've also opened up a virtual meeting. So I've got my Zoom meeting going here and I'm going to take my window for my virtual meeting and I'm gonna move it over to my second screen. That's because I wanna be able to see it over there when I'm presenting. Now, what I can do is, is I can, in PowerPoint, I can put my slideshow into slideshow mode and we have my notes here on the screen. I have the slides up there on the large screen. And now in my virtual meeting, I move my cursor over there and I can say, okay, share and I wanna share screen two because that's where the full slides are. And I'll say share. And what happens is that uh, Zoom now puts all of the videos into this small little section. But if I move my cursor over it, you notice this little double arrow at the top there it says show full meeting window. I click on that. And now I can see the full videos of everybody in the meeting. So as I'm presenting, I'm going along, I come back to PowerPoint here, as I'm presenting, I'm going along, I'm advancing each of the bullet or the builds on my slide here. I have my notes. I have the slides being shared with everybody in the room on the large screen and everybody in the Zoom meeting. And as a presenter, I can look over here, briefly see engagement. People might be looking puzzled. I can immediately address that because I can see all of the participants on that second screen very easily and large enough that I can actually tell what it is that they are talking about. So now what I've done is I've set up using the split extend, I've set up a way in a hybrid meeting that I can engage the people in the room, engage the people who are virtually, and 
I can see all of my speaking notes very easily on my laptop screen. The OREI split extend solves one of the biggest issues in hybrid meetings today because it allows you to see both your speaking notes and the attendees on screens close to you while the slides are being shown in the room and in the virtual platform. This is also a great solution. If you wanna have a three screen setup at home when you're delivering just a virtual presentation and you want the slides on one screen, you wanna be able to see your virtual attendees in large videos on another screen and have your speaking notes right in front of you. Now, if you're in charge of room technology at an organization, the OREI Split Extend might be able to save you a lot of money. Instead of investing in these complicated and expensive Zoom or Teams room systems, you could simply have, let's say, two large screens at the front of the room, and using the Split Extend, you could connect one so they see the slides, and the other takes the place of this small screen, and now everybody in the room can see the virtual participants as well no need to invest a huge amount of money in these room systems. So think about that if you're responsible for the room setup in an organization. I'll link to the OREI Split Extend in the description down below this video. This display adapter may be your secret weapon in improving the effectiveness of your hybrid presentations. Thanks for watching.